Huh? I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing it. Earlier, I discussed that... I discussed it with Yuhiko, and we decided to take turns resting. That's right. That's why I came to a call... Came to the on-call room on the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well in the past few days, so I suddenly... So suddenly... Damn it. So sudden drowsiness took over me. Can you tell that I'm feeling drowsy? I'm fucking up every word. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but my body feels really heavy for some reason. No, it's not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... Oh, God! Thank you! I can't breathe. <laughs> Mikan! Thank you. Let me. Let me just. Let me think. There, there, let me. Let me just. You, you guys. You guys don't. You guys don't. Yeah. There you go. I'll just. I'll just keep that. Move. I. I can't breathe. Oh, no, you can't. Don't move around. I love you, Mikan. You're the best. Hajime, are you okay? Your complexion is a blush, purple shade. It, it might be a, a severe kyan- what the fuck? A psionic reaction. Hajime, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself! Mikan finally got off me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Somehow, that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. D uh huh? Hajime! Uh, Hajime, you've regained consciousness! I, I'm so glad, I thought you died! Me too, I seriously thought I was gonna die. I'm sorry, I thought about taking a rest in the on-call room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me. <laughs> then, then I'll be on the bottom next time. That's obviously not what I was thinking about. Hey, hey. Hey. What are you two guys doing? Fuyuhiko. No, this is, I really hope you don't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me. Why are you guys sleeping together? Bastard! You, you dirty rotten bastard! You guys are fucking high schoolers! <laughs> Seriously, you got it all wrong, man. Damn it! I got it all you got it all wrong, and I wish you were wrong, but hey. Hey, that's not what happened, sadly. We don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger. D danger When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he was he wasn't breathing. Huh? <laughs> did, did, huh? It's bad. There's no time for us to rest. Mikon vigorously leaped out of bed and ran out of the on call room. That was probably the best moment in this game ever. I got what I wanted. Damn it! Hajime, now's not the time for you to be pitch pitching a tent. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Uh, pitching a tent. We need to hurry. Seriously, I'm not. Fihiko and I chased after Mikon as she ran into Nagito's room. Naito, please get a hold of yourself. Despite Mikan's desperate pleas, I didn't see Naito react at all. There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Hey, fidget, fidget. Oh, yeah, Monokuma did say earlier it doesn't count of a murder if he, you know, died of illness. Damn it. He's totally waiting for us. It. For it. It looks very bad. Okay, uh. Shit. Uh, despite her deep surprise, Nagito didn't react at all. Mikan, what do we do? Mikan, is Nagito alright? Uh, um, it looks like he's bre his breathing's returned. Really? But still, his condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. Hey, hey! Uh, how light is that? Is it sweet potato soft? Well? If so, that's pretty light. Uh, uh, Please don't interfere. Hey. hey, look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? Uh, you're you're right. He might be trying to say something. Naito, what happened? And as she said his name, Mikan softly tilted her ear towards Naito's lips. That's dangerous, Mikan. You should not do that. What do you say? Apparently, his condition has improved, and he feels quite refreshed. <laughs> you lying bastard! Mm, since Monokuma said Naito has the liar disease, he probably means the opposite, and actually feels really like shit. Like. Uh, but what's gonna happen if he just dies? We're not gonna have a class trial, right? Don't talk like that. Naito's never gonna die. I'll save him by any means necessary. I see. I see. Got it. 
Not only Nagato to you. Yes. Y yeah. Uh, from her own, uh, from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to Tina Nagato. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right. Then follow me. While you were resting, the goods arrived. I gotta show them to you. The goods? Are some dangerous, anyway. right? Let's go. To the lobby. Alright. <laughs> that was the best moment ever. In this fucking game, I love it. I love it. I love this game. Mikan waifu number one. Hey, Fihiko, what did you mean when you said Damn goods? Right. Look on top of the reception desk. Oh, yeah, look at that. On top of the reception desk, it's a radio and a camera. Hmm. Fihiko was talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor and a camera unit. Uh, what is this? Huh. Perfect timing, the blue light's blinking. Does something happen when it blinks? Seeing as believing, as they say, try pressing the button just below the light. I uh, just press the button. I do a fee, he goes ahead and press the button. What's up? Hey, it's Hajime. Ah, uh, loud and cleared. Looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuchi? Then this is... Huh. Yeah, that's right. This is the way to communicate he was talking about. Alright! Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How's about it? it? Is what I've been working on? Huh? <laughs> Remember that alley with all those shady looking street booths? That were... That's where I found this. It's a surveillance camera for household use, and I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now, it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit on... It's pretty hit or miss. Chat... Uh, video chat, huh? It's true. We don't have to worry about getting affected with this. That's right. So, it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other with this from now on, okay? This this was only a test run this time, so I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later! That's pretty cool, actually. Because huh. you left this while you were resting. Damn right! This surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance... Wait, what? This... Wait, what? This surveillance camera comes with a surveillance camera. And a surveillance monitor. Okay. Anyways, the camera recorded and live broadcast on the monitor, so he prepared two of these sets and swapped each of their cameras. I see, by swapping the cameras, his monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Apparently, he also modified it a little. He winded it, narrow communication range beyond just household use. Even so. But even so, he still had a limit, so apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Uh, then we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel. You didn't notice? It was contacting you just now from the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're still, uh, but they're staying at a motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need to? Damn right. I thought the same thing, so we arranged times for us to contact each other. Set up for the communication 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning... Uh, what? Okay, so 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning announcement and evening announcement. Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. Uh, he's well prepared. I expect for the air of uh, enormous organization. Uh, what is it? Nothing. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Now then. Uh, it's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? Hmm. Are you planning to use the on-call room with a certain someone again? Maybe. Like I said... It's not what it looked like. You got hey, 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 aren't you misunderstanding? You a hospital facility is for sick people, so don't go for lodgings or young romantic... Th th what the fuck? Trist? Trist? Thri hmm? What is that word? Whatever. You know? 
Wait, you too? What are you talking about? Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Come on, take a look at a bulletin board. There's a notice on there. A notice on a bulletin board. Bulletin board notice. He's talking about hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within a hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied overnight, uh, stay by non-patients or express. Wait, what? If patients do not need to be accompanied overnight, stay by non-patients are expressively prohibited. All right. In other words. Right. It's like the notice you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There's one patient who needs to be accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nagita, right? Then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions, my ass. You should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay the night, and there's no way we can make Mekon leave. Jeez. I guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mekon, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. So, Fihiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our car just tonight. I'm a little worried. No, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of getting so worried? Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving Mekon alone. I guess for now, I should try to get some sleep. Monokuma! Good evening, it's time for Monokuma's cooking class. Today we're going to learn how to make takoyaki. The first uh, the first thing you need is a time machine. We will travel back to the time to Magic period and did I just say Magic? My bad. To the Maji period and meet a person named Shirjo- Oh fuck. Saijiro Kanabe. Huh. Alright. He used to bake and sell turtle shaped pastries. Sorry, hiccup again. I like a little hiccup. That's bad. But unfortunately, they never sold all that well. It's important that you gen gently cheer him because because he's gonna disappear in himself. Wait, what? He's gonna be disappointing himself if you uh, when you meet him. From there, get serious, get serious and intense, and tries making his pastries fish shape because they're all the sub better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. And as final touch, name these pastries. Taiyaki. Alright. Okay. What's this? You finished making Taiyaki? To you by <sighs> this concludes Monokuma's cooking class. That was weird. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! I'm worried about me and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. Uh, the moment I uh, got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Yo. Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So, what should we do? There's still a little more time before we need to make contact. I want to go to Nagito's room and check up on him. Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Don't worry. Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. Okay, uh. let's see. God, jeez, uh, where is his room? Not thinking about it. I was just gonna head to room four. I'm guess it's upstairs, right? Might be upstairs. Uh, oop. Doing this with one hand. I don't know why I'm doing this with one hand. Why was I using one hand? There's something wrong with me. Anyways, uh, what's in here? Might be some secret Monokumas hiding, hiding about, and around conference room. What's in a conference room? Hmm, this room is... 
There's a lot of chairs and desks here. I guess it's sort of like conference room. Are there any secret Monokumas hiding here? Oh, is that a projector? Oh, it's project. Oh no, it's Monokuma. Do, do what? Here we go. I see you, little bastard. Uh, I've been found. I was about to leave, and then I looked up a little bit, and I said, "Wait a minute, there he is." All right. Uh, on call room. Um, that wouldn't be Nagito's room, would it? So maybe his room is downstairs. I assume he has the fourth room. Looks like it's open. Should be anybody inside. Oh, never mind. They have their pictures on it. I didn't notice that. All right. I just walked past them and didn't give two fucks. Mikon, how's Nagito doing? Same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. Uh, are you fucking serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into a critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? But as long as I'm his nurse, I'll never let Nagito die. N ever. Uh, I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Hajime. It's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, I got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. Why do we give a fuck about Naito? Just let him die. Let him die. I don't trust him. I never trusted him. Uh, the incoming signal light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. Press the button underneath the blinking light and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello, how is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> You're good on our end too. I can totally see your broke ass faces. It might be best that we tell each other about Nagato's condition. Hey, are you the one are you the only one over there? Nope, we're all here except for Hayako. What happened to Hayako? Uh, it seems like we all look, uh, like a brent. What? Apparented to enemies or whatever the fuck that word is. You use some big ass words, Gundam. You scare me a little bit. Looks like we're enemies in the eyes of the coward. She has locked herself in a room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come until the spare disease has been cured. She's even being cautious about the others in the motel. Looks like they're all in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So, how about you? How you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Naito actually is in serious danger. I already know he's seriously dangerous. No, that's not what I mean. He seriously warranted the border between life and death. What, what did you say? Forever. But he's gonna be okay, right? Naito's gonna be. He's gonna get better. Hey, hey. First, Nagamoro, then Naito. That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't say. You really can't say? That's but Why are you there, Monomi? I just realized that. Nomi, why are you on the other side? Because it'd be dangerous if I get closer to the hospital since I don't know what's going on over there. You you really piss me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be worried about disease, man? You're an animal. You Please don't discriminate. The despair disease is horrible. It's dangerous disease that can even destroy this island. So until we figure out how to deal with that, I will be on this side. Before I could respond to Monomi, Fuyuhiko had cut the connection. Don't fuck with me. Shitty stuff, animal. She seriously pissed me off. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm going outside to cool off. Fuyuhiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyways, all we can do now is wait. You just, uh, wait just patiently until the situation improves and change for the better. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in the hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fihiko entered and left the hospital many times, and time just kept passing by. Ahem! Hope's be 
Geek Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Damn it. Feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over and now nine times already. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez. We should go back to our cottage when it's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth though. But before we go back, we can check on Nagito one more time. Go for it. Leave the transmission thing to me. Jeez. Not gonna have a new clue anyways. Can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. Damn right. Oh, I thought Hajime was the one saying... See, I wasn't paying attention to who was speaking. I was just reading. I thought Hajime was the one who was like, Yeah, leave this to me. So, oh, God, you scared the ever-loving shit out of me. Oh, Ibuki. What are you doing here? You need to be resting. To tell you the truth, I've been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I could help you with anything. But it's better if I'm asleep, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. Be a big health if you, you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. <sighs> That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. The Buki scared the shit out of me. Uh, let's check on Akane real quick. Can I check on Akane? Hey, you in here? You in here, champ? You feeling okay? <laughs> It's night time again. It's so dark. I'm so scared. I'm gonna get eaten by ghosts. Usually, she'd be more like, I beat the crap out of ghosts. Kane is acting like this. Just isn't Kane. Uh, we'll see you later. You know, keep, keep the good work up, champ. You're doing a good job. Alright, Nagito, you alright, man? Mikan, Nagito, what's up, guys? Hey, Mikan, you doing alright? Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him the whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan! No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned towards me as she focuses on caring for Nagito. Did she get the disease? I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you alright? Yeah. Ah! Looks like you finally noticed. Oh god, please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. Hey man, that that wouldn't be a bad thing. Wet? Um. Uh, did you come back to check on Nagito? I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired. Isn't it better if you just get a little rest? Um. I, I hope I'm not mistaken. It'd be really embarrassing. What? Are you by any chance worried about me? I'm always worried about you, Mikan. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll let. Uh, so I'll, wait, what? So I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said, but she's working so hard to be bad to keep getting in her way. Exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Mikan, please don't die. <laughs> please don't die. I really want you to survive this. Yo. Yeah, how's Nagito doing? Um, I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she had no time to rest. Naito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they said. And nothing new to report. We're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there is there hasn't been any progress. So on both of our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez, oh well. Fine. Let's look forward to tomorrow. Uh, with the depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to the cottage. Mm. My worries have piled so high that one side just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's more slowly being uh, sunk deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today I should just go to sleep. It's best not dwell on it too much. And not just that. First thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. I keep telling myself that as I sighed one last time and slowly close my eyes. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took time hazily, like watercolor paint splinted in water. Wait, what? 
suspended in water, slowly hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen that I've seen before. But I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted to Hope Speak Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully staring out I'm dully staring out the window. Pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ear. Huh? You don't know? <laughs> know what? Apparently, you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hoaxby Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run to the place I deserve to be. Not here. To a place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that way was possible. So he's the same too? Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have anything, any special talents that Hosby Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free. What? Well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for, for parents who have to write the check. What? Huh. Leave me alone. I just, I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyways? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? God damn it! Too many Monica with theaters! What do you want with my life? Hey! Hey! Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So I'm gonna tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild world I lived in, popular, uh, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself so I can brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was really blind. So I showed him the blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written in special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. When I said that, he was all like, that love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he really could read the letter. That's when I started hogging everyone's attention as the divine messenger of God. And eventually... He was worshipped by society. Now, he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What do you think of? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, want to buy this vase? It is pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it because I like you so much. Oh, fuck off, Monokuma. Jesus. Can I save my game now? It's been like a while. I would love to do that. It's fun. See, it's fun to save your game. It's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. Oh, what? Wait a minute! Why are you in my bed? I, I can't believe it! AGAIN! You guys didn't see that. You will say nothing about this. I can't believe it! <laughs> I love you, Mikan. No, stop. You're tickling me. Mikan, again? <laughs> Hurry up and move! I, I, I can't breathe! Mm, you've stopped me. Cyanosis or whatever the fuck that word is again. Well, the Hodge make get gone limp. Uh, get 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 a hold of yourself. Uh, uh, he regained consciousness. Oh, I'm so glad. I thought you died from suffocation. Mikan, why why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Uh, now that you mentioned it, ah, uh, I came here to wake you up, but it seemed like I accidentally fell asleep. What kind of accident is that? But good news, you see, Nagito's condition has stabilized. Really? And I rushed over to let you guys know, but Fuyuhiko's room was locked, so... Yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. Anyways, please hurry over. Nagito can probably be saved. 
Yeah, got it. Quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be pumped for someone like Nagito. Oh well, best not think about it. All I know is I'm pumped for all the blood that went rushing down there earlier. Thank you, Mikan. I love you. You're the best ever. Um. Naito's in his patient room. Please hurry and see how he's doing. Aw. I love you, Mikan. You're awesome. Alright. Naito. What have you been up to, buddy? You feeling alright? Can you walk? Yep, looks like he's up and at him. Uh, and there I saw Naito, who managed to sit up in his bed. Naito, can you hear me? Hajime came to see how you're doing. The twin Bukis are singing. I see, Buki must have been a twin duo. <gasps> the Ver- What? The Veronicas? Is he supposed to be cured? It's not like he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical condition. They were utilizing their characteristics as twins, and they've been taking turns of appearing before me. Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. The Veronicas, that's the answer. Uh, after seeing this, it might have been better if we just stayed quiet just a bit longer. Yeah, but I'm so glad. So relieved now you regain consciousness. I'm so glad. I feel dizzy somehow. Everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep. Then if you insist, I'll use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Then, even though it's morning, good night. Mikan wobbled around a bit and left the room. She definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep while she was supposed to come wake me up. Man. All alone with Hajime. Hmm, I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. Uh, yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Aw, that means he really wants to see my face. Go fuck yourself. Well, nice to know that he's doing alright. I guess. The morning announcement should be starting soon. I should wait in the lobby for a transmission. Huh? A surveillance camera unit's lights blinking. That's weird. It's not transmission time yet. The lights blinking. See some sort of transmission before the other side. But it's pretty early. We haven't received the morning announcement yet. It might be something urgent though. So if there's any way I can make them wait until Fihiko gets here, alright, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reach my hand and press the reception button in a surveillance camera unit. Oh, what the fuck is this? First, uh, upon first glance, I immediately knew it was a normal video. I slowly swayed dim lights and shine on the black curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. So this light came from a candle? But what was the creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it were a stepladder. It's like a gallows. What is this? I don't understand at all. What's going on at the music venue? And what happened? Who is this? The moment I saw a silhouette uh, slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice onto me. Uh. A person wearing a hospital gown and a, and a hemp bag on their f on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving. Uh, and began climbing the step ladder. Slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached over the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? And at that moment, huh? The screen suddenly went pinch black, probably because the candle and the only source of light had gone out. Yep. Well, that's, mm, that's bad. That's really bad. I should head to the music venue. Now, no matter what I said, there's no response from the darkness on the other end of the monitor. What the hell is this? What's going on? Uh, what in the world's going on? No, 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 I gotta do something about this. Still might be able to make it. Hurry over to the music venue. I rushed out the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. Yeah, I should do that. Ding the Oh. Morning announcements. Please be morning announcements. Please be morning announcements. Ahem. 
Hope's Pizza oh, good. School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning. Oh, everyone. that's good. That's so good. Oh, God. I thought it was going to be like, bing bong, a body has been fucking found. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Just now, that was the morning announcement. Figo should be arriving here shortly. I don't have time to wait for him. Gotta get to the music venue. Yeah, I should really do that. Please, please, please make it. I rushed into the music venue praying with my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayers mean nothing on this island. Is that it, Pookie? Is that Ibuki? I was too late. What the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air! Why Why is it so hot? What's this strange hot air inside the music venue? No, not now's not the time to worry about it. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What's everyone doing? And the body discovery announcement. That's right, there hasn't been an announcement yet. Uh, nobody noticed. Then I'll hurry and let the others know. From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of ab uh, able bodied people who can help me there. I should hurry. I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying desperately not to trip over my own feet. Somebody get out here! As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. I was wondering who was making such an infernal racket, so it was you. Gundam, something's awful happened. What? Don't tell me. Do you intend to spread the pa or the pathogen bacteria so you can t take us all down with you? I won't, I won't let you. If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. Uh, what happened? Is there a problem? Fighting's not allowed. It's worse than that. There's a body. Huh? Didn't you hear me? A body was found. But 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 body? Oh shit! Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? Get fuck! Hold on, Gun Gundam. Get a hold of your fucking self right now. You are pissing me off. Hajime, is that true? Of course it is. It's obvious. Chiki, you have been Nagito's condition, yes? Wait, what? You have seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But still. But there's no way we shouldn't check it out because if Hajime is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? A killing? If that's true, we need to check it out. If that's the case, I'll not stop you. Leave this place to me, you fiends go on ahead. Huh, no need to worry, I'll catch up with you easily. That sounds like famous last words. Cheeky, can you go? Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Yeah, that's way better. Thanks for not fucking helping at all, Gundam, you piece of shit. Hajime! Uh, Hajime! Mikan, why are you here? Perfect timing, please help us, Hajime. Help us? Uh, Hajime, someone's coming from over there. The Hajime and Chiki, what are you guys doing here? Fihiko, why are you here too? Isn't it obvious I'm looking for Ibuki? Looking for Ibuki? I was planning to rest on the on call room, but I wanted to check on everybody else. Uh, and Ibuki's missed from the hospital all of a sudden. To what? So, what Hajime says earlier. Everyone, let's hurry. Huh? Hurry where? To the music venue. Don't ask me. Just fucking follow. Music venue? Is Ibuki going to be there? That's what I think. I mean, long black hair? It looks like Ibuki to me, which really sucks. Where's the music venue? My, my wounds hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Is Buki inside here? D d yeah. The only way we need to know is go inside and confirm if that tank body is really a Buki. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Let's go. I clench my teeth and rush my hands towards the door. Huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? Yeah, ex why is it locked? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through here just a few minutes ago. Then, why don't we try from another entrance? 
This is the only entrance to the music video. There isn't even a window to go through. But why is it locked? I don't understand it myself, but if we won't open... I mean, if we won't open. If it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. And I wonder if it's going to be possible of the four of us, two are girls, and you know. It doesn't matter if we can do it or not. We have to try. Let's go. We're all charging at the same time. Ready, set, go! After he could signal, we charge into the door at full force. Bam! Oh, the door moved. Maybe it'll open easier after that. Yeah, he even with two girls here. All right, one more time. After he could signal, we charge into the door one more time. Bam! It was like a live performance just ended. The moment of silence just before the audience breaks out into thunderous applause. And a few minutes after the silence. A scream surfaced. <coughs> oh God! Not you too. Is her clothes on backwards? Anyways, what the fuck, man? There it wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body, a suspended body belonging to Hayako. 